Hi there everyone, today I'm going to make a tutorial on version 5.18.1 in Chaotic. I've released an update recently in on the page and on in some groups of 5.18 uh, for which has the AI capability of Photoshop's update 2021 well, with some changes of our own in Chaotic. Um, so let me just show you what we have here. So if there's the first time that you're using uh, that, that you using Chaotic though. Um, let me just go to YouTube. You're most probably going to watch a video on YouTube um, to get started. If you want to try it out, you can just open this page. Here's our page. Link to the page, uh, the website. Sorry, um, and then you can go to download. So you're going to create your account here, and after you're done, you creating your account, then you're going to download it. Um, the, the account will work for it will be a free trial for seven days um, only if you use it if you not if you don't use it in that day then it won't count um, okay so then you're gonna download it and then be sure also to go to our free goodies and other to get some free skies so you have blue skies here click download and you have some twilight skies um, and then you can also open these other links here so Facebook group you can join our group we have a few groups but this is one that I like to use and I post a lot in there uh, and also our page Kytech page and you'll see some videos there as well um, I put a flash and ambient uh, uh, video there that would be right at the top um, okay so let's get on to the sky replacements so you downloaded the program, you've installed it, um, but then it might not be showing here. So then you need to go to the top window and then you probably can't see it. Um, but at the top of Photoshop's menu, there's window. Click on that and then you'll see extensions. Then you click on that and then you'll see Chaotic Retouches Plus and then you click on that and it will pop up. It will most probably be like this, but then you can just like drag your click and drag it and put it wait for there to be a single line a uh, single horizontal line and then you let go then it will just pop in there so that it's out of your way and um, then what you can do is click on the gear icon click on the gear icon go to settings and then scroll down till you find custom sky textures path so the skies that you downloaded you're going to link that folder to the Kyotec plugin through this. So click on Browse Path, and then you will go to your 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 Skies folder. Now you will have a Kyotec Skies folder, but inside you'll have Blue Skies and Twilights. Then go into Blue Skies. Now you can make your own Sky folder with only maybe like five of your favorite Skies in, and then you can only put those in there. Um, so this way, when you're doing the auto sky swap, it's going to randomly pull from the skies that you like. But I'm going to select this entire folder. So you can always change your path. If there's maybe a job of twilight, then you can just change that. You can just change the path to the twilight folder for that job or so. And you can close. Um, now what we want to do is go to manipulation. Go to sky. And then you will see this three dots here next to auto quick swap in the gray box. Click on that and then make sure that your the, 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 the tick is on your auto quick swap AI so that it will be defaultly using that, that mask. And here at the bottom, we've added our own strength to it. So for an image like this that's blown out completely, no sky, you can leave it on AI strength one. But it, as it gets darker, you might you, you can play around and change it and see what works best for you. But for this image, I'm going to leave it on AI1 and then close. Just click on that X. And uh, now we can run the auto quick swap. So just click on this now. <clears throat> and just let the process run. Okay, so it put in the sky there. Um, what we're going to do is to zoom in on the leaves because that's usually what gets damaged so before after 
So it did a decent job, kept the details there of the leaves. Okay, so that looks perfect. Um, now the, you have a few layers here that you can play with. So let's say you didn't like the sky that it put in. You want you don't want the random sky. You want to choose one. So go to your C graph tools and click on change sky. You can also mirror the sky, so you can flip it. So just click on it and it will flip. Um, so sometimes if the gradient's on the wrong side, you might want to just mirror the sky. And now you want to change the sky. You click on change sky. And then it's going to bring up your sky folder and then choose a different sky. And we can close this. If you're wondering what is render video and timeline, um, well, you can save this image as a cinema graph, which is um, your picture would be like still, but then your sky would be moving. So with the timeline open, you can click play. It might play a bit slow. Okay, and there your clouds is moving. So you can save that. It will play much, much more smoother once it's saved as a video. Um, so let's click timeline. Let's just close that. <clears throat> so to save it as a video, you can click render video. My computer's a bit slow while I'm recording. And then here's a few settings here. So you can choose the name of the MP4. You can select the folder of where it should save. You can choose the quality. I always set mine to low quality because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah, then click render. You might need to change this also. Um, I think if it's too low, then Photoshop will tell you it's too low. Okay, so let me just cancel that. So yeah, yeah, we have our sky swap and we changed our sky. Um, let's say we want to play with the layers. So you have a sky gradient layer here. It's on 15% full. You can click on the name full. Click and drag to the right to increase that gradient. If the sky is getting too blue, you can, but you do want the gradient, then um, you can just double click on this thumbnail here. You can drag your gradient up or down. Just click on the on the sky and move up and down, and that will just move the 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 the, the gradient around for you. You can scale it also lower to bring that gradient more closer. Uh, remove that big feather, or you can increase it. So I'll leave mine on 50. Leave it something like that, and you can change the direction of the gradient as well the angle and then you just click OK but I'm gonna cancel um, what else so let's say our, our sky we need to match our sky with our image maybe it's the brightness is not right or the color is not right um, you have levels here at the top and you have UN saturation here on, on the right hand side so let's click on our levels we can use these sliders to lighten our sky a bit. So this will target like the dark area of the sky, moving the output to the right. And the middle slider of the inputs will lighten or darken, depending what you want. So just to make it more natural, you don't want to make it too dark, because when it gets too dark, then it doesn't look, it doesn't look natural. Um, so we want to just make it a bit lighter. Click OK. It's fine if you made a mistake, you can still double click on this name levels here, double click on the name levels and you'll have that, that those settings back and you just, you can change it then again. Um, if you want to change the color of the sky, you can bring up this UN saturation and then you can just change the color of the sky or the saturation and then you can click OK. Um, so let's zoom in a bit here. The edge restore, what this will do is it will try and bring back detail on edges like leaves and the building edges and so on. So if I take this off, you'll notice that some of the details disappears. If I take the effects off of this as well, it will go even more away. So in this case, I would like both of them on. You can play with the full of the edge restore as well. Can play with the with the full of it. 
if you want to bring back more you can bring up levels on that layer as well use the black slider here on uh, on the left of the input and then you can take that lower and that'll bring back like more detail but you don't want to go too far with that uh, by default that should be doing a decent job um what else is there i think i've covered everything major here uh, and where there's one more thing on this on the mask here so sometimes your sky goes onto your structure like here like like so then what you want to do is you want to use a black brush so swapping your, your 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 colors you would need to click x on your keyboard and it swaps the colors or you can click on this arrow so you want the black to be the foreground color so black at the top and then and make sure that your brush is set to normal blend mode you're at the top your opacity and flow on 100 then you start brushing with black to clean off whatever sky went onto your structure um, now I think that's basically it but now you maybe there's a there, there, there might be a case of where you want to do an entire folder without having to sit and do all these things so you just want to do a quick folder of sky replacements for that you would need to go to your batch tools so let's go to batch tools and we want to click on auto sky swap so here's that folder let me just delete that setting so we want to click auto quick swap and then it's going to bring up this window and you now need you now need to browse to your your folder of what you want to do the sky swap on so i want to be in the batch sky swap folder this is the folder that you saw here so here's four sky swaps that needs to be done so now you just click select folder and the process will start running now we can go to the folder and we can watch it being created so you'll see a new folder appears called sky replace you can go in there and you can watch your sky replacements being processed so you will have a JPEG and you will have a PSD file. The JPEG you can use if you're happy with it as is, then cool. Uh, if you're not, then you have the PSD there that you can open it and it'll have all those layers that you had before, like doing it man, like singular. Um, so let's just wait for this process to be completed and then we'll tweak some of these skies in our PSD. So am I done? Is it done? Yeah, I think it's done. Okay, so now we have our PSD. For some reason, I can see this PSD, but I can't see the others. Okay, so our JPEG and our PSD. Now I'm going to open the PSD. And if I'm not happy with this, then I can do my adjustments to it here. I have all my layers here still. So yeah, that's about it for your batch sky swapping and individual sky swapping using the uh, the, the the new version of Kyotech uh, in in compatibility with the new Photoshop update. Uh, hope this was helpful, guys.